osborn j waves are encountered in uh, again the answer is straightforward one hypothermia uh, these waves are usually at the starting of the j point so if i just represent uh, this once again though i've described in a routine class the end of the s wave is called as the j point that is the isoelectric point in patients of hypothermia the heart will become slower so the pr interval will be increased the qrs complex will be broader and you might be able to see a convexity at the starting of the st segment of the patient this that have represented before you along with the prolonged pr and a broad qrs is uh, the one that is called technically as j wave the alternative name for j wave is osborn wave remember the fact that uh, j wave or osborn wave is not only seen in hypothermia but is also seen in patients of hypercalcemia so now you know two causes for development of j wave in a patient hypercalcemia and hypothermia i'll show you a real time ecg of a patient who actually had hypothermia you can see a very characteristic uh, uh, finding which actually is so big that it looks like uh, a st elevation in a while but yeah it's different from a standard st elevation that you will encounter because the s uh, wave in this case is not decipherable uh, you can see that the r wave is finishing completely s is not starting and then there is this uh, convexity or a hump present that is the osborn wave in the patient uh, definition of hypothermia in which you will be having is a presentation of uh, j wave in the ecg is a uh, core temperature of the patient less than 35 degrees uh, in pediatrics the core temperature uh, is not measured we usually take the axillary temperature and if it is less than 36.5 we say that the neonate is having hypothermia but in adults uh, it is core temperature less than 35 being defined as hypothermia uh, remember 32 to 35 is mild 28 to 32 is moderate and less than 28 is severe hypothermia to check this hypothermia you would be putting the thermometer ideally in the pulmonary artery the ideal site for checking the core temperature is pulmonary artery however if in a multiple choice question he says that uh, uh, what is the preferred site where you would like to uh, place the thermometer then the preferred site where you can place the thermometer would be answered as uh, the lower part of the esophagus and uh, i have also shown a esophageal probe which you can see in the upper part of the uh, representation now that can be used to record the temperature and uh, this that is shown this is the probe that you will be seeing in a overhead radiant warmer uh, if you have been to the NICU of a hospital, you would have seen a little babies. They put in a thermoprobe to check for the body temperature. So thermoprobe per se is uh, for uh, neonatal monitoring and uh, remaining are obviously for adults and for treatment of hypothermia, you would go in for uh, active rewarming where we will be giving uh, peritoneal dialysis with warm saline. So remember the statement treatment of choice of hypothermia is peritoneal dialysis with warm saline and Osborne wave is found in two conditions that is going to be hypothermia and second is uh, going to be hypercalcemia.